Alright, now it's my soy SR, old school rotaries. Today we have part six of the fresh spilt on the R100. And we're gonna kick it off with uh, the 10A. I'm excited. We're gonna tear it down. I'm not gonna go through specs or anything like that. Uh, just a basic tear down and how I go about tearing uh, uh, these engines down. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get this uh, 10A running. But first we gotta see what's inside. Um, I did notice that it does not spin. So it, it uh, I don't wanna keep tugging at it, but um, I guess it's just been sitting for too long. I mean, it's been sitting for over 30 years. So I'm sure something ceased up in there. So we're just gonna go to the basic uh, tear down. I'm gonna take off the carburetor, alternator, distributors. Um, we're just gonna leave the pure block and then tear down the block. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on parts, uh, specs or anything like that. I just wanna uh, make a short video on how to tear these engines down. I'm sure you guys have probably seen videos out there and they're all pretty much the same. Once you uh, tore one down, you pretty much done them all. So it's nothing special from any other videos but um i guess it is a little more special than other readers this is 10a i mean i think i tear down four rotors three rotors two rotors i've never seen them tear down a 10a at least that i that i i know of uh here we go guys this is uh this is part six Alright guys, I had to stop for a moment, as you could see, this engine stand is bending, so I want this engine falling and landing on my feet, so I'm going to go ahead and just use the good old Mazda tricks. I got this one online, and I like to support... Um, you know, local road enthusiasts or anybody trying to, you know, um, come up with new parts to make life easier when it comes to rotaries. But yeah, this stander here, is, it's very dangerous. So just, just watch out for it. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the Monster Tricks one. I've been using this one for decades. Never had an issue on it. And and the only reason why I bring it up because it's, it's a safety issue. Um, this one, uh, they claim to be um, um, tough enough for, for a 12A, and this is a 10A, so um, yeah, I'm kind of bummed out, man. Um, so I'm going to have to stop for a moment and swap it out with the Mazda Tricks. Uh, like I said, I've, I've used this one for many, many years and never had an issue or anything. Okay, this was totally unexpected. Look up this thing bent. What a shame, like I said, I like supporting uh, rotary enthusiasts, anyone coming up with new ideas. But uh, yeah, this is not safe, so just watch out for this, guys. Um, I'm not gonna give the guy's name out. I'm just not that kind of person, but uh, I did get it on eBay and if you see anything similar to this, just uh, stay away from it. Get something like this from Mazda Tricks. Again, I bought this years ago and I never had an issue. 
I just I was just trying to try something new, something different. But um, hey, you know, this is old school. That's what I'm talking about. They don't make things how they used to. So.
everything's off. Now comes the fun part. Just trying to see what's going on inside. Like I told you guys earlier, um, they didn't want to spin. So my guess is that there's a lot of carbon buildup. Um, don't know, won't know until I actually open it. But it does have some end play, so. So that's a good indication that the bears might still be good. So that's right now, that's what I'm really worried about. Just having to redo the bearings, but there it is. 